five-time USA outdoor champion, Olympian, and Springfield resident Nick Simmons is running strong. This week, you can run with him. It's the second annual Nick Simmons Springfield 800 taking place in the city's historic Washburn district. And unlike a typical 800, which is two laps around an Olympic track, this one will run completely straight. No turns right down Fifth Street in downtown Springfield. And joining us live, just like we promised, <laughs> Nick Simmons in studio again. Yay! This is exciting to have you in studio. Yeah, Thank welcome. you guys for having me. And I guess the big question for us this morning is how did this all come to be and why is it important for you to get out there and run with people who may not be as fast as you? Yeah, well, last year the mayor's office contacted me and said, we'd like to do something to acknowledge the fact that you made the, your second Olympic team. And we bounced some ideas around, but um, what I really wanted to do was have a race where all the kids and adults and everyone from Springfield and the Eugene area that had supported me for the last six years at that point could come out and we could have some fun and run. And so last year we had the first Nick Simmons straight 800. It's the only 800 that they run down a, a road um, as opposed to being on a track and running two laps. Um, and I think that, that because of that and because it was USATF sanctioned, the, the winner last year set a, a world record. Really? So there's wow. another option to come out and set another world record tomorrow or Friday, I guess it is, Friday evening. Um, but uh, they've done a great job. This will be the second annual and hopefully we'll just keep this thing going and build it and get bigger and bigger. Now, we were talking before the show, you, you tend to run this over and over and over again. I mean, yeah. you don't just go out there and run as fast as you can and then yeah. go hit the lockers. I mean, you go back and you run with the kids and you run yeah. with the kids and you run with the kids. One of these years I'll have to run it uh, as hard as I can, trying uh -huh. to set, set a good course record. But um, for me, you know, I had a long season. Uh, I just got back from Europe a couple days ago, and uh, what I'd really like to do is just come out and run a few different races with some kids and mm -hmm. kind of inspire the next generation because uh, Track Town USA is, is not just Eugene, it's also Springfield, and we put out such great talent. Um, the support from the community uh, really nurtures and develops that talent, and I'd like to continue to, to make sure there's more runners sure. coming and making teams from this area. Now, last year you had how many uh, registrations? Uh, I think we had between three and four hundred. So you're hoping? Hoping for more this year, yeah. And mm -hmm. anyone who registers, show us what yeah. they get. So everyone who registers gets to race, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you get this beautiful shirt uh, that the mayor's office designed. And heat winners will this be is nice. winning uh, oh, these road signs. And last year, I think we gave out at least a dozen. Uh -huh. um, and of course, I'll autograph every single one of them. And um, I'll be out there autographing, taking pictures. Uh, come for the farmer's market and stay for the race. The first race is at 5.45 p.m. And I'll be out there all evening. Wow, that's really cool. Now, you just got back from Germany. Do you travel a lot and compete? I mean, you're a professional Yeah, I'm on the road racer, uh, so. between training camps and competitions about six months out of the year. Wow. Uh, so this is my home base. And obviously, I love being here. I love the support from the community. Uh, but of course, most of my competitions take place in Europe. So I was over in Europe for two months. Uh, the culmination of that was really uh, the World Championships in Moscow where I, I took second. So it's been my biggest year, but yeah. excited to be home. Now we're talking about childhood obesity uh, and, and preventing it. At what point did you start running? At what point did you say, I can do this? I yeah. can do this as a living. That's a great question. Um, you know, I was very active when I was a kid growing up in Boise, Idaho. I played a lot of sports. Uh, soccer was really my, my favorite sport, but I wasn't necessarily big enough at the time to play soccer. So I got into cross country and track and field and just fell in love with it. And I've been doing it now uh, for 15 years professionally for seven years and really didn't think that I could do it uh, as, a, as a living or make an Olympic team until um, Oregon Track Club picked me up when I was uh, 22 right out of college at Willamette wow. University. Wow. And they really yeah. pushed me, yeah. Yeah, they pushed you, they yeah. helped you, and look you, really go, did. go, go. Yeah. Is it true you have a bunny? A I do bunny? have a bunny, yeah, Mortimer. <laughs> and guess what, this is, this is an exclusive I'm giving you guys. Oh. Mortimer and I will be shooting for a PETA ad uh, people for the ethical treatment of animals in the next uh, week or two. So awesome! Pretty exciting Doing stuff. Great things. Yeah. Watch out for that. Thank you. Well, yeah. for more information on the second annual Nick Simmons Springfield 800, it kicks off again Friday. The first wave taking off at 5:45. You can register. So easy. Go to kzi.com and you will find the link. Make it happen.